Our next guest holds Wells, Truist, and region fi Regions Financial in his portfolio. He believes the bank crisis will run its course fairly quickly. Chuck Lieberman joins us, Advisors Capital Management CIO and Managing Partner. Chuck, it's great to have you. Thanks for the time. Of course, Carl. Happy to do it. Um, talk to me about the First Citizens deal and how much solace you think uh, that gives the market right now. I think it gives a little bit. Uh, I think far more important uh, is what's happening to deposit flows. We're hearing reports that the outflows from regional banks have slowed down a lot. And that's really what the market needs to gain some confidence. Uh, not necessarily going in reverse, though, right? I mean, what needs to happen to, to bring, uh, I guess, us back to at least a semblance of where we were prior to the outflow? Yeah, what investors need to see is confidence in those regional banks. Uh, that's what uh, undermined the market. That's what set off the capital flows into tech as a safe haven, uh, what Bob Pisani just talked about a moment ago. Uh, so you really need the market to come to realize that uh, these banks are not going away. This is not a repeat of 2008. Um, and if we saw more money go into the regional banks, that would be very positive for the market. All right. We mentioned uh, your holdings at Wells and Truist. Are you are you necessarily running back to the big money centers? Well, those are absolutely safe havens, and they've also sold off. Uh, it really is strange that money has come out of some of the regionals, out of deposits at the regionals, and gone into the money centers, and yet the money centers have sold off. It shows you that there's a general flight to safety. Uh, people don't know what's risky, what's safe, uh, and so they... They latch on to what they think is safe, and that's why tech has been uh, a safe haven. Uh, but the big money center banks are absolutely a safe haven. They're very attractive. Chuck, um, you're an income investor, look for dividend growth, things like that. So not surprising that you own some real estate investment trusts, but how are you feeling about them right now and the need to be selective after that sector has been really uh, kind of bombed out? Yeah, that's exactly right. You do need to be selective. So we're really not into uh, office buildings. We're not into apartments. Uh, we're not into industrials. Those are relatively expensive. Uh, they haven't been great performers. Uh, we're looking for, uh, shall we say, one-offs or places where uh, the market is not enamored. Uh, and one area is, uh, for example, some of the uh, health care REITs. Uh, those sold off dramatically during the pandemic for obvious reasons. Uh, but uh, the nursing homes uh, are coming back. They're seeing uh, steady improvement in occupancy. Uh, their big problem is that they're having trouble hiring people. So is it your sort of macro house view that the next year or two uh, is going to result in either uh, a change in lending standards or difficulty in refinancing commercial uh, that will have uh, that will result in big macro pressure for the economy? Well, I think part of that is yes. Uh, certainly what's happened is very disruptive to the economy. And that's part of the story of why there's an expectation of a recession. And we share that view. Uh, but mostly it's likely to be a mild recession. I don't see a major decline in the economy. Um, the Fed needs to slow down economic growth. That's what this is all about. That's why they've been raising rates so steadily. Uh, and as they accomplish that, uh, they're going to get the slowdown that they want. Uh, and then the pressure comes off of them as well as parts of the market. In, in terms of real estate, uh, real estate is very, very diverse. And so we own some uh, some Kimco, for example, a shopping center re real estate uh, company. We think of that as very, very safe. Uh, we own uh, Simon Properties, uh, the big shopping mall REIT. Um, has company has done very, very well. They've raised their dividend multiple times. Uh, we think that's a very good place to be. So you have to be selective, no doubt about it. 